Hello and welcome to WeBuyNamotorCamera.com. Today we have got an absolute beast of a motorhome. It is the Autotrail Frontier Comanche with the SE pack, which most of them have anyway. As you can see, it's a 2011. It's got the silver cab. They did change the cab to a greyer cab the next year on. Got LPG gas locker towards the front. The lever is inside for those who want to know. Next up, we have storage from underneath the seat. And this obviously can be accessed from inside and outside. Next up, habitation door, and an extra security lock, as well as the Dometic fridge vents. Then got the Thetford cassette toilet door, electric hookup point, nice gas point as well. And then we've got this lovely full length rear garage. And as you can see, it is full length. It's not the biggest garage in the world, but it is plenty big enough. I mean, this is more of a two, a two person tour than anything. It is a four berth, but it's only got two belted seats. On the rear of this motorhome, we do have the roof rack and ladder. On the other side as well, we do have the Dometic full length awning. Spare wheel, tow bar, and the reversing camera at the top. On the driver's side of this vehicle, we can see how big this vehicle is. And it's lovely and white, this one. It's, it's been kept really well, which you'd expect for around 12,000 miles. Um, as you can see, we've got the other side of the garage door, water inlet, and then we've got the shower point, external shower point as well. Again, this locker here, just a nice little storage locker, not, nothing, too, um, nothing too much. And then down here, we also have a full length well, a nice, or well, half length, should I say, um, storage locker just below. On top, it does have the solar panel, satellite dish, TV aerial, all the little bits that you want on a motorhome this size. Okay, so it is built on the Fiat Ducato 3 litre 160 brake horsepower engine. So it is the bigger engine. And it's also automatic as well, this one. Um, great motorhome uh, five ton in weight so 5,000 kilograms and one hell of a payload of 925 kilos let's go and have a look inside now we're inside this motorhome we can see it is on the automatic gearbox driver and passenger airbag leather steering wheel cruise control electric mirrors electric windows cab blinds se pack which comes with this fold down tv which uh, most of the auto trails come with we've also got a little bluetooth system in the middle as well the lounge, we have two nice long bench seats. The first one is longer by a few inches than the other, as you can see. This isn't quite the original table on this side, but um, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good alternative. And then we've got a nice big sunroof just above the cab, as well as really nice LED lighting. I don't know if you can quite see that. But yeah, really nice lighting all the way through. This is a bit of a head of, ahead of its time, really, compared to some of the motorhomes that are around. And then you've got all the storage lockers all the way around and below the seats as well. Above the habitation door, we do have the control panel for the auto trail, as well as the Truma heating for the water and just the blown air heating generally. Something else I missed outside, which is the nice fly screen which you want for when you want to let that air through the van. The kitchen for the Comanche itself, as you can see on the right hand side, it's got the oven grill three hob burner with a hot plate at the back. You've got lots of drawers and cupboards of space, lots of place to store. Mixer tap with sink. We have got a nice bit of workspace around here and it is quite um, well, it's, it's, it's certainly wide enough to get around. Heading up, we've got two 240 volt sockets in the light switches. Nice big cupboard just above the grill itself. And then a hidden Daewoo microwave. Opposite the main bulk of the kitchen, we have got this huge 190 litre fridge. And again, just a bit more storage above the fridge as well just for whatever you want in there plenty of space so just before we get to the bedroom we have got the bathroom it is a separate shower unit from the bathroom itself as you can see it's a nice 
self-sealed plastic compartment and then turning around we can see the door actually comes across and it separates the, the bathroom and the bedroom to the rest of the van. We then go into the toilet with a Thetford cassette toilet, sink, cupboard, mirror and towel rail. Okay, and then we've got the best part of the motorhome for me. We've got this lovely big island bed. Now, the thing I do like about island beds is you can get out of them either side, just like when you're at home. Sometimes when you've got the transverse beds over the garage, you've got to climb over one another just to get out. And we've also got two separate wardrobes, one either side, his and hers. And then we've got some cupboards just above as well. Nice LED lighting. And then we've also got a drawer and further cupboard below each side. Plenty of plenty of space really just for all your clothes and toiletries or whatever you want. And if you want to watch TV in bed, you have got the brackets, 240 volt socket and TV aerial points just opposite as well as even more storage. And the same goes to the other side as well. Nice LED lights above the mirror and again into even more storage with this 925 kilogram payload you've got lots of places to put stuff so yeah so here we have it the auto trail frontier comanche as i said earlier is on the five ton chassis with one hell of a payload of 925 kilograms there's not many motorhomes around with that sort of payload for me it is a two berth tourer and um, it is a, it is technically a four berth because this lounge does turn into a double bed but without those two two extra seat belts it is a two berth um, and also with this lounge, I just will go back to it, it is so comfy, you know, you want these two bench seats just so you can really lounge properly. As soon as you put the, the seating in with the belts, it does turn it into an L shape, it just makes it a little bit awkward. But yeah, 8.73 metres, tons of spec, everything you want in this, uh, this European Tourer. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.